Hey gaming fans, so today I have a, another Lorcana deck build. Um, this is kind of like a fun build. I thought I would, uh, you know, I was trying to find a way to play the Huey, Dewey, and Louie cards. So basically, with this one, uh, you want to get all three of them out onto the field, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Then you get to, when you quest with Huey, um, if you have the other two characters out, you get to draw three cards. So I figured, you know, why not add it to like a deck that ramps into ink, and then um, hopefully when you draw the three cards, you can spit out as many little guys as possible. So anyways, here's the build. Also, you know, you want, you want to try and get some like draw power. So obviously I'm going to play three of each of the characters. So we got the Huey there. He's a two cost. So you probably want to hold on to him and play him last. You don't want him getting killed. Um, then you got Dewey. So I got four of them. So this is, uh, he's got support, he has, uh, goes for two lore when you quest with him. So pretty decent, I mean three, three drop. Uh, then we got Louis. Got four of those. So he's got support as well, so obviously they all support each other, they're bro brothers I guess. <laughs> then he's a little more costly, he's four, um, but he's a three, four for two lore. Uh, so then to ramp up, we're going to play the... Uh, four jump aheads. So this one, um, you put the top card of your deck into your inkwell, face down and exerted. So it just gets you faster. Uh, they're not inkable, so you're going to have to play them um, or get them into the ink zone a different way, like by using Mickey Mouse Detective. So I got four of those. Um, so when you play this character, you may put the top card of your deck into your inkwell, face down and exerted. So that's going to ramp in. He's a 1-3 three for 3, but you're really trying to just get the uh, ink going there. So when you, if you can pull off the Huey, Dewey, Louie combo to draw in the three cards, you hopefully can play them. Um, I only have one of these guys, so I'm probably going to sniff around the internet, try and get some more. Uh, Winnie the Pooh having a think. Uh, whenever this character quests, you may put a card from your hand into your inkwell face down. So he's a 2-3, he quests for 2 lore, and he's 3 cost. So not too bad. Um, again, for ramping into ink, we have the Heart of Tefiti, which is a, an item. Then you have to exert and pay two to put the top card of your deck into your inkwell face down and exerted. So again, to get us in, I'm also going to play around with having items in this deck. So um, just because we play with those and they can become useless in a, in a you know, when they, if the game goes on. So I got four of the Grammatala which is the storyteller one. She's the two drop, and when this character is banished, in other words, when she's sent to the graveyard, <laughs> um, you may put this card into your inkwell face down and exerted. So, you know, if they kill, if you ram into one of their characters, she's a 1-1, one, one, or if, um, you know, you're questing and they kill her, uh, your opponent kills her, she goes into your inkwell, which is cool. So you're going to ramp up there. And then to stick with the Grammatala theme, we got four of the, whoops, got four of the the Grammatala Keeper of Ancient Stories, which is a four drop. Um, and she lets you uh, dig into your deck to help you get to your Huey, Dewey, Louie combo. So when the, when you play this character, look at the top two cards of your deck. You may put one into your hand and put the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order. So you're going to help thin through your deck to get to your cards. Then I play the one of the seven drop Grammatala. She's a spirit of the ocean, shift five. So you can pay five to play her on top of another Grammatala. And then when this card is put into your inkwell, when a card is put into your inkwell, gain one lore. So that you do that a bit in this deck. So if you can get her out on the field pretty quickly, um, every time you put your uh, cards into the inkwell, you get to uh, gain a lore. I threw this in here just because um, I like the, the fact that she helps pay for items quite faster. Uh, so she's a three drop that's Bell in... Uh, inventive Engineer, 2-3 for 2 lore. When this character quests, you may pay one less for the next item you play this turn. So, you know, it might help you out, because I play one of this card. This is Lucky Dime. Um, it's a 7-cost seven, seven uninkable item, but you get to choose. You get to pay 2, exert it, choose a character of yours, gain lore equal to their lore. So, that's pretty cool. Um, again, for the item helping out, we got 3 Scrooge McDuck. Uh, Uncle Moneybags, so whenever this character quests, you may pay one less for the next time you I, you play an item, so very much like the bell. Um, just, he's a two drop, so can help you out. Then I play 
three popsicle. Um, I think I only have three. I probably would have played four if I had a fourth. Um, so when you play this item, you may draw a card and then banish this item to remove two damage counters from chosen character. Um, basically, it's just to uh, draw a card and then uh, there's there's a few other cards that will will interact with that that I'll show later. Um, I got one of this guy, the uh, Hiram Flavor Shram Toy Maker. When you play this character and whenever he quests, you may banish one of your items to draw two cards. So obviously, if you have that on the field, if you didn't use it to, for its ability, um, you can just banish it to draw the two cards. So uh, he's pretty good. He's a but he's a one he's one six, so he might stick around a little bit longer than expected, but. Then there's also Glean. Uh, this is a card I might want to pick up more of as well. I only have one copy of it, uh, but he is a banished chosen item. Its player gains two lore. So again, you can go for that Popsicle or any of your, like your Heart of Defeaty if you don't need it anymore. Um, same idea. we got two launches, uh, banish an item, and then deal five damage to chosen character. So hopefully it gets rid of your uh, opponent's characters. These are uninkable, so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still deciding. Most of this deck is blue, too. There is red in this build. Um, I, I almost made this deck entirely blue. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if it really matters or not. But and then, so we got to... Uh, I just wanted to get some quick two-drop, uh, two-lore. You know, just like if you do pull off your draw three cards thing, um, you know, hopefully you can start throwing down some quick damage. Not damage, but, you know, gaining lore. Same idea. Then I decided to throw in some big some big characters. So we got Maleficent, which is a 5, 3, 6, and she generates 3 lore. And then 2, Mufasa, same idea. He's 6, gains 3 lore. Um, just so in late game I could start putting down some beefier characters. Um, again, for the quick drop, here's where the red comes in. I got one of these Simba Scrappy Clubs. Um, scrappy Cub, I should say. He is uninkable, but um, he's a one drop, or, or sorry, two drop for three lore. Uh, he's probably not going to live beyond his uh, first quest, if he even makes it that long. And then we got uh, Taffiata, Taffiata, Mutton Fudge. Um, I think this is from Wreck-It Ralph or something. Um, he's a, he's another, she's another two, two drop um, for two lore, so I just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh... These are just uh, just to help get rid of uh, any troublesome characters on the board. Banish chosen character. Again, uh, it's uninkable, but in this deck you have ways of getting it into your inkwell anyway. So. Um, and then the last three are some more items I threw in here uh, just to um, help with card drawing. Because it is a kind of a combo style deck. So this is Sumerian Talisman. Uh, during your turn, when one of your characters is banished in a challenge, you may draw a card. I figure that's going to be cool if you can use it with, like, the Gramatala. Where is she? This one here. Gramatala. You can, you know, ram her into a, your opponent's character, get her effect to go into the inkwell, and then you get to draw a card. So, really could help out. And then, it can, it's an item, so if you need to get rid of it, you can do so with, with the other cards. So anyways, yeah, that's the uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie combo um, that I just I just kind of started working on it. I might change it up a bit, obviously, but um, just to see uh, how, how much fun this would be to try, kind of build a deck like this. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Hope you subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.